I don't often sell homes in Skamania County. Every so often I'll find myself on that border between um, Clark County and Skamania, like deep Washougal River Road that I have clients who are just looking for land and we end up in Skamania. So, you know, it is really gorgeous out there as Vancouver is becoming more populated and it's getting a little harder to find homes here at, um, you know, whatever price point you might be looking at. I think more and more people are going to be spreading out into North County, like up into the center Woodland area and also east over into Skamania. Um, so the purpose of this video is just to share with you the little that I do know about Skamania County. Just keep in mind, I don't sell homes in Skamania County. I will go um, to the far eastern limits of Washougal, right? But if we're talking Stevenson, I just, I don't, I, it's too far. <laughs> so I do have an excellent realtor that I refer to out there. So if you're looking for property in that area, I'd be happy to connect to you. Skamania County stats. Uh, this place is just east of Clark County along the Columbia River. As of 2020, the population was just over 12,000. So not a big place. The largest incorporated city is Stevenson, although Carson River Valley is more populous. Uh, the country was founded in 1854 when it was split off of the original Clark County. The county has a total area of 1,684 square miles. 90% of Skamania is forested and 80% is part of the Gifford Pinchot National Forest. It is home to Mount St. Helens, which is still the highest point in Skamania despite losing its top when it erupted in May of 1980. Events and attractions in Skamania. There are a bunch of annual events that people enjoy in Skamania and people travel to Skamania to go um, attend. One is the Skamania County Fair and Timber Carnival. They have livestock and horse shows, 4-H, food exhibits, entertainment. They have a market and fireworks. There's the Columbia Gorge Bluegrass Festival, a Blues and Brews Festival, Country Chick Vintage Sale, a Community Garage Sale, Christmas in the Gorge, and then one of the biggest attractions is the Bonneville Dam. It is the, one of the world's largest hydroelectric systems. It provides 80% of power for the Pacific Northwest region. You can visit the dam for wildlife viewing, outdoor recreation. You can learn about the journey of the salmon and it's free to visit. Uh, there are tons of hiking trails throughout Skamania County in the Columbia River Gorge and the Gifford Pinchot National Forest, which includes the uh, Mount St. Helens National Volcanic Monument. The Pacific Crest Trail passes through Skamania County as well. A popular hike that I have personally enjoyed is called Dog Mountain. It's a six and a half mile hike near Carson. It takes about four and a half hours to complete and the elevation change, like the climb is 3000 feet. Uh, there's also a bunch of fishing opportunities throughout Skamania County. Some of the most popular species include rainbow trout, steelhead and bass. The Columbia Gorge Interpretive Center Museum in Stevenson examines um, the geologic and human past in the Columbia River Gorge, that's a fun place to visit. There's also the Lewis and Clark Expedition. Um, there's like information throughout Skamania County um, as some of their campsites can also be visited. Those interested in historic markers can visit Fort Cascades and Fort Raines. Both were built in the 1850s to protect the Portage Road around the Cascades. Um, some other recreational activities include kiteboarding and windsurfing. These are seasonal sports popular in the gorge. Beacon Rock State Park is a popular day trip for those interested in hiking and rock climbing. That's a fun one, not too hard. Uh, what is the real estate market like in Skamania? In February 2022, there were 14 total listings and 12 penny sales, so not a lot. The average sales price was 441500 and total market time was 28 days. So year to date, the average sales price was just over $500,000. This is up 33% from 2021 when the average sales price was $483,000. Not a lot of homes being listed and sold in Skamania, but you saw the population, not a ton of people there. I have pulled all sold listings in Skamania County from March of last year, 2021 to present. So you can use the link in the description to see the comprehensive list and get an idea of what you can currently get for your money in Skamania. In general, lot sizes are bigger. We're talking about homes on acreage. Home prices are a little lower. There's not as much demand to be in Skamania. It is just not as convenient to the amenities of Vancouver and Portland. Uh, overall, I re recommend visiting Skamania and exploring all it has to offer for nature, hikes, and natural beauty. If you are looking for a slower pace and gorgeous views on a daily basis, this may be the perfect place for you. Friendly reminder, I will drive 
so far as the Washougal side of Skamania, but it really is not my territory. Um, I think that's pretty much it. Let me know if you have any questions. My contact information is in the header above and in the description below. Thank you for watching. And if you are enjoying my videos, I do come out with a new video every week. So go ahead and hit that little subscribe button um, and turn the bell on to be notified when a new video is posted. And if you want to chat about, you know, your home search or what it's like to live in Clark County, Washington, just go ahead and give me a call, reach out by email. I'm pretty easy to talk to. And I'd love to hear from you.